and welcome back for another Mad About Cards and Crafts video. Today I am collaborating with my friend Jen over at Katahdin Crafts and we're bringing you Hello Bluebird Inspiration. I will have the link to her video in the description box below. Here's a look at the products from Hello Bluebird. I have O Christmas Tree and I also have Bold Holiday Dies from the Greetery Nordic Slimline Dies, from Paper Tray Ink Skinny Mini Banner Dies, and then the Sending Joy Stamp Set. I'm also going to be using a die from Cottage Cuts. It's a Snowflake Slimline Die. I'll link it in the description box below. I just shared from Tonic Studios the Linking Ring Stencil. I'll be doing some heat embossing with Brutus Monroe Alabaster White Embossing Powder. From Dreamweaver, I have pearlescent texture paste from Prima. I have color bloom sprays in summer sky and cobalt. I'm going to do just a little bit of Copic coloring. I have started with a piece of Memento. I've started with a piece of Copic Expressit paper and I stamped it using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I am coloring with some BG7 5 and 2 markers. As you can see, I am going underneath each layer of the tree with my darkest color, which is the BG7. I'm blending it out with the BG5 and then finally I'll bring in the BG2. I like to add two layers of color, so for this I wanted to add a little bit of texture. I'll start with my darkest color and I will flick on the color so you see here I'm just basically coloring and blending. For the second technique on this tree to add that texture I will be bringing in a flicking motion and that will add just a little bit more interest to the tree. So I start with my darkest color and then I'll blend in my mid-tone and I'll finish off with the lightest. I didn't color the trunk on camera. I decided to leave in just a minimal amount of coloring but I did want to share how I colored this tree. I decided to go with lighter colors for my animals. I thought that it would be a nice contrast, more of a wintry feel so I have a polar bear. Instead of my my bunnies being brown, as you know, they do change colors in the winter if you live in the snow and they do turn white. So here I'm showing you how I do my white shadowing. I have a C2 marker. I'm adding it underneath the hat, under the arms, on the back side of the bear. I also accentuate where his foot is, so I do add a little bit more. I bring the line in a little bit more and and then I blend it out with a C0 marker. I will do the same thing to the hat just to add a little texture. So here is that Nordic Frames die. I used the mid-size one and I'm going to use the Tonic Studios Linking Rings stencil as well as my Dreamweaver pearlescent paste. That pearlescent paste, as the name indicates, does have a pearl tone to it. Once I get the paste down onto my panel, I will set it aside to dry for about 30 minutes and I do take my stencil over to the sink as well as clean off my desk and that little palette knife to make sure that none of that sticks to those pieces because it can ruin your stencil if you don't wash it right away. I do clean off my edges and then now we're going to bring in those color bloom sprays. I'm starting with Summer Sky. I, instead of spraying it onto my panel, I'm going to use this watercolor brush. I did spritz my panel with water to make sure that the spray would move freely. I'm going to add the cobalt and a little bit more water for movement right here. And then I'll add a little bit more of that summer sky. I do end up drying this with my Ranger heat tool. The Ranger heat tool does have a much lower heat setting and it does add the heat a little bit more evenly. It distributes it a little bit more evenly. I would not recommend at doing this with your embossing heat tool because it would be just a little bit too much heat for this pearlescent paste and you might get some bubbling. So once I dried this off I noticed that the cobalt blue dried back a little bit and I'm just going to add a little bit of that cobalt blue to this background and then I'm going to set it aside to dry. I took the Cottage Cuts Snowfall Slimline and I did 
cut it out a second time using the largest of the Greeteries Nordic frames. That way I'm going to have the same edge to both layers of these card panels. I have a top folding slimline card base so the snowfall cuts out to eight and a quarter by three and a quarter and I cut my card base to eight and a half by seven and I scored it at the three and a half inch mark to give me a finished card base of three and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to add some glue to the layer that we added the texture paste and the color blooms to and as you can see I did glue it to the center of my card. Once that's finished, I like to do my dry fitting. The center of my scene is going to be the Christmas tree, so I am going to make sure that I build my scene around that tree. I did, uh, as I mentioned, Jen and I have had a discussion about all the products that we have in our stash that we just haven't had a chance to use. She and I both had uh, some Hello Bluebird that we both love and we really haven't uh, given a lot of attention to. And so we thought that we would start collaborating maybe every other month, maybe once a quarter as we can, and just bring you a little bit more inspiration using Hello Bluebird and some of the other products that are going unloved in our stash. So I hope you enjoy this collaboration. I hope you'll head over to Jen's channel. Make sure that you like her video and subscribe. She is just a fantastic creator and I know that you're going to love what she brings you today. So I'm starting to glue some of my pieces down. As you can see, I'm adding some ornaments. I have strings of lights, and you can see that pop of red that I decided to bring in. So I wanted to go with more of a blue theme, but I felt like it needed just a little bit of a pop of red in it, and I think that that just really sets this scene off and just makes it pop just a little bit more. I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of some of my critters and then other critters I am going to go ahead and glue directly to my panel. So I've popped up the fox who's going to be holding one end of the string of lights and then I'm also going to pop up the bunny that will go on the other side. I thought maybe I wanted that squirrel to be on the back of the deer but I think that it was just looking a little bit too busy once I've started to get everything put down and so I do end up moving him more to the left of or well it's the right side of the Christmas tree but the left of the the deer. I added some foam tape to my little mouse who's looking directly at the tree and finally um, I shouldn't say finally and next I'm adding just a little bit of foam tape to the bunny. So I'm going to lay down my first string of lights. I'm going to make sure that bunny's holding on to that string. Initially you're going to see right here that I have my animals just a little bit too high. They're not grounded like the ones on the left. So I'll pick them up and I'll just move them down a little bit more and I like the way that that looks a little bit better. I'm going to add some foam tape to my squirrel. This is where I decided that he really needed to go over where the bunny was. And I do have a second bunny that I've colored and I'm not quite sure where I'm going to place him. In fact, I thought that I wasn't going to put him in my scene at all. And then I thought, you know, he kind of, it kind of looks like we have a set of twins here if I use both of them. So I'm going to make some adjustments later on in my scene just to make sure that I get that second bunny in and we can have our set of twins. I would love to know in the comment section below, are you a fan of Hello Bluebird? I'm a huge fan of Hello Bluebird and I really have 
you know, several products from them that I just haven't had a chance to use. You know, I think like everybody else, we buy products and then things come up and we work on other things and neglect what we already bought. And so this is going to give me doing these collaborations with Jen is really going to give me that opportunity to use some of these stamp sets and die sets that, you know, I really fell in love with, but then again, I never used. I popped that one squirrel up. I glued the presents directly to the card panel, and then I popped the squirrel up. I thought I might have that one bunny. That's the twin bunny. I thought I might have him facing the polar bear and maybe like grabbing the ornament. You know what I mean? So that the the, the bear was passing the ornament to the bunny, but I changed my mind on that. I'm going to add my birds to the left and right side of the tree, and they're going to be putting lights on. So I need to make sure that I get them placed on there, and I did add foam tape to them, and I'll glue the lights directly to the tree. I'm not sure if it's happened yet. I didn't quite see it, but I am going to need to add a piece of foam tape to the star on the tree because I have that layer that I did the stenciling on. It's not going to lay flat, and so I do need to tuck a little bit of foam tape underneath that star. Here's where I add my twin bunny, and I decide that he's going to be hanging a candy cane and I like the addition. I just think that it's adorable. Here are a couple more ornaments to fill in those spots between the polar bear and the squirrel to make sure that we're balancing this out. And because my right side is a little bit fuller than my left side, I'm going to use this Joy Die, which is from the Bold Holidays. I'm going to offset it so I've cut it both in red and white. I'm offsetting it, the white to the right of the red just a little bit and then I'm going to place this bold sentiment on the left side of my panel where it's a little bit less busy and it's going to balance out my scene just a little bit more. Off camera I used the, spinny, the skinny mini banners and I did stamp and emboss so I used the sentiment from the Sending Joy stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. I used the sentiment that said to the world. So the front of my card's going to say joy to the world. And I did heat emboss it with that alabaster white embossing powder on that same red cardstock that I used for that joy sentiment. And I love the way that this card came together. I was so excited when I finished with this, like literally giddy. And that's when I sent Jen a message and I said, Jen, can we please do this? you know, a little bit more often, not just stop here because I am in love with these Hello Bluebird products. That to the world is a little bit too long, so I will figure out where I want it and I do end up cutting it down just a little bit so it fit a little bit better over in this area and my card is finished. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe and ring the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. Until next time, I hope that you have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching.